Alright everyone, Cody Don here. So, as you can see, on my fingers are some dark stains. And that is due to silver nitrate. This happens to chemists quite often, you know, like if you accidentally touch something that had a drop of silver nitrate on it, it gets on your skin. You don't realize it till later, and it leaves your skin with a dark mark, like you can see here. And it is considered almost impossible to remove. In fact, usually you have to just wait for your skin to grow out and have it wear off. And uh, this is really bad if you have like a, a job interview coming up and uh, you've got silver nitrate stains all over your hands and it makes you look dirty, even though you're really quite clean. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more silver nitrate to my skin. I have some on the end of this here Q-tip. Let's go ahead and draw a smiley face or something funny. There we go. Very nice. And you can see that there's nothing there. It looks completely invisible. You can even uh, wash your hands, you know, like get a good rinse, you know, dry them off. And it looks like there's nothing there. But what has happened is the silver nitrate has reacted with halides in your skin, such as sodium chloride, to yield sodium nitrate and silver chloride. Silver chloride is of course insoluble and once it forms it's stuck inside your skin and it will not move. It's not really that big of a problem because it's in the very surface of your skin and really it's completely invisible until you go out into a bright light. So I have this uh, bright uh, UV laser here and I'm just going to go ahead and wave it over my hand for a few s minutes and you'll see that the silver nitrate or silver chloride I should say starts to darken. What's happening is the uh, silver chloride is getting hit with the photons of light and if they're in the UV spectrum they're having high enough energy that they actually knock the silver off of the chlorine yielding you a single atom of pure silver and uh, chlorine gas which comes off. Now this uh, yields you a silver metal which of course is quite insoluble. I mean you'd need nitric acid in order to dissolve it. The nitric acid is really not going to work in this case because the chlorides in your skin will just form silver chloride again. So it would only be a temporary fix if anything. But as you can see I've got a nice little smiley face on my hand now along with these dark spots and well I'd be stuck with these for quite some time if I didn't know how to remove it. Fortunately, I happen to know that sodium cyanide, in the presence of oxygen, will dissolve silver quite readily. I mean, that is what they use in silver mining. And it'll also dissolve silver chloride, so it's actually going to permanently remove this uh, staining. So I have some solution here on this piece of paper. I don't have enough cyanide here to kill me, so it's not going to be really that big of a deal. But as you see, when I wipe this uh, cyanide solution on my hand, the smiley face goes away quite rapidly. That of course is because it was a fairly you know, light layer of silver nitrate. Go up here to where it's a little bit stronger, it'll take a bit longer. But as the cyanide dissolves the silver metal, it makes my skin clear again. And good as new. <laughs> See that? So if you got a job interview coming up and you're a chemist and you've got silver nitrate stains on your hands, maybe a little bit of cyanide wouldn't be that bad to go ahead and try to remove it. I of course wouldn't recommend this because cyanide will absorb through the skin and if you get too much, well it could cause issues. But uh, like I said, this isn't really enough cyanide to really do anything. So it should work just fine. You see it's uh, significantly lighter than my other fingers there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.